Let's make a doggy balaclava. Hi all and welcome to my channel. Just a quick picture by picture tutorial today on how to make a cute balaclava for your dog. So let's get started. First of all, an absolutely shameless plug for my little Etsy shop where you'll find lots and lots of patterns for various things from a hedgehog family to a Charlie pug to a Benny bunny and Emmeline the cow is ever so cute and oh there's Charlie pug for you to see there so pop along there and check out my Etsy shop and even my, that little gingerbread girl is so cute. Thank you. With your Addy 46 or your Centro 48 Cast on with five to six rows of waist yarn, knit 80 rows and cast off with another five to six rows of waist yarn. After that you need to seal the ends of the tubes closed and we'll move on to the next stage. Continue by folding your work in half. On one side of the work measure seven centimetres approximately up from the bottom edge and put a marker. You need to match a stitch then from the bottom of the work up to that marker and close off with a couple of stitches. To secure. On the other side of the work, match a stitch all the way from the bottom all the way to the top and secure with a few stitches. And now with the largest pom-pom maker I have, which is a version of the Clover Maker, I'm using uh, the main yarn and a contrasting orange yarn. And I've packed it really, really tightly because I like a nice thick pom-pom. Cutting around there, which is always my, uh, my least favourite part about making a pom-pom. And now just trimming up and lots and lots of debris on the table to make our pretty pom-pom. Now using both tails on the pom-pom I'm attaching it to the back of the hat and securing it underneath with a pom-pom button. Using my prim i-cord knitter I knit about 55 centimeters I think of i-cord in a contrasting orange color. Thread the tail of the i-cord into a darning needle. Insert the needle as seen in the picture and gradually thread the needle all the way around the base of the work in between the layers until you get through to the other side, pulling the eye cord all the way through and forming a pull cord. Next, using two small beads and using the tails on both ends of the eye cord, attach the beads to the end, wrapping through the hole in the centre and wrapping around the bead and making it look really, really pretty. And if you'd like to make a smaller version of this doggy balaclava, this is made on an Addy 22. You cast on with five to six rows of waist yarn, knit 60 rows in your chosen yarn and cast off again with five to six rows of waist yarn. After that, see the ends as usual and um, just sew up to make the front aperture for the head just five centimeters. But um, you can always measure your dog, of course, to make sure that it is going to give you uh, an adequate aperture for your dog's little head to stick out of. And that's uh, modeled by my lovely little Trixie dog there, as you can see. I didn't add a pull cord onto this version because it is quite uh, a lot smaller than the one made on the Addy 46. So um, it was quite adequately tight enough around the neck not to bother with a pull cord. And that's Minty, my little uh, Chalky. So she's a Yorkie crossed with um, a Chihuahua, I believe. And she's very, very small indeed. So made on the 22, it's kind of perfect for that size of dog. I've not made one as yet on a 40 pin machine, but I think 70 to 80 rows on this size machine should work out rather well too. Uh, of course, measuring your dog will help. And here's our cowl, all finished and ready to put on our unsuspecting pooch. Isn't it fantastic? Something a little bit different. I hope you like it. I didn't do a proper full-fledged video on this one, guys. It was something that just popped into my head and I thought, I'll just take a couple of pictures and do it that way. You get the idea. I hope you do anyway. Anyway, if you like this pattern and if you try it, tag me on Instagram. CraftyCars33 is always great to see your work. And again, I hope I'll see you next time. And if this pattern is of any use to you in a monetary form especially, maybe think about giving a little donation to your local animal charity something very close to my heart we're all struggling for cash i know but the poor animals are struggling even more take care of yourself guys ta for now